Have you ever gone to your local grocery store to pick up a brand of White Wings all-purpose flour? Or perhaps you went to the seasoning section to pick up a brand of Pioneer seasoning mix and gravy mix for the meal you're preparing. Well, if so, you could thank the man who created this brand 170 years ago. Join me as we look at the people of San Antonio's past, a brief look at the life of C.H. Gunther. Carl Hilmar Gunther was born on March 19, 1826, in Weissenfels, Germany. At a young age, Gunther took on the trade of being a millwright, which was a specialized carpenter who designed and constructed mills that were powered by water. And in 1844, he earned the honor of being accepted into the Guild of Master Millwrights. In 1848, at the age of 22, Gunther decides to leave Germany and immigrates to the United States of America to put his trade of being a millwright to good use. After spending three years of traveling through America, Gunther finally settles down in Fredericksburg, Texas in 1851. In that same year, Gunther decides to make a flour mill of his own along the Live Oak Creek. With his expertise of being a millwright and the lack of flour mills in Fredericksburg, his business was very successful at this time. In 1855, C.H. Gunther marries Dorothea Pape, and everything seemed great in his life. However, in 1859, a drought plagues Fredericksburg and depletes the creek that was used to power his flour mill. Needing a reliable source of water to power his flour mill, Gunther, his wife, and his two children at the time decide to head on over to San Antonio in 1859. Here he builds his flour mill along the banks of the San Antonio River, making this the first flour mill built in San Antonio, Texas. That same year, C.H. Gunther built his family homestead alongside his flour mill. And through the years as his business grew, so did his family, raising a total of seven kids with his wife, Dorothea. To keep up with demand, in 1868, Gunther builds a second mill up along the San Antonio River. This mill was known as the Upper Mill, while his first mill was known as the Lower Mill. Over the next 30 years, his business continued to be successful with the many options of flour and cornmeal they created in his mill. By the late 1890s, C.H. Gunther Mills was now known as C.H. Gunther & Son Incorporated, with the trade name Pioneer Flour Mills. Sadly, on June 14, 1898, Dorothea Gunther passes away at the age of 58. The year is now 1900, and C.H. Gunther builds a three-story mill in place of the lower mill that he built in 1859. This consolidated two mills that he had at the time into one building. At this new mill, he installed state-of-the-art machinery to increase production. During this time, C.H. Gunther steps down as president of C.H. Gunther and Son Incorporated and hands over the reins to his son, Erhard Gunther. On October 18, 1902, C.H. Gunther dies at the age of 76. He is buried along with his wife at the Gunther family burial plot in City Cemetery No. 1 in downtown San Antonio, Texas. Now, join me as we pay respects to a man who played a big part of San Antonio's past, Carl Hilmar Gunther and his wife, Dorothea Gunther. After his father's passing, Erhard Gunther made sure to keep his father's business alive. Over the years, more room was needed in the mill, and it took on its iconic look as we all know in San Antonio today. Erhard played a big part in Pioneer Flour Mill's foundation of expanding their product horizon by creating a breakfast treat wheat cereal. On September 25, 1945, Erhard Gunther passes away. Throughout the years, the company continued to run as a family-owned and operated business and created many more products such as biscuit mix, pancake mix, cake mix, and a bunch of other fine Pioneer products. Now let's jump to present-day San Antonio, Texas and take a look at Pioneer Flour Mills.
Located within the Pioneer Flour Mills facility is the Gunther House that was built in 1859 and completed sometime in 1860. The house is still in use today as a restaurant, museum, and banquet hall. While living in this home, Erhard Gunther made many interior and exterior changes to his childhood home and the end result is what we see today. Heading upstream on the San Antonio River, across the Arsenal building, which is now the HEB headquarters, is the original site of C.H. Gunther's upper mill, which he built in 1868. C.H. Gunther & Son Incorporated has a track record of success and throughout its later years has acquired many other businesses under their wing. In April 2018, an investment firm by the name of Pritzker Group buys C.H. Gunther & Son Incorporated, ending their 167-year run as being a family-owned business. What started off as a small flour mill along the bank of the Live Oak Creek in Fredericksburg, Texas in 1851 C.H. Gunther & Son Incorporated was sold to this investment group for $1.4 billion. In conclusion, C.H. Gunther arrived in Texas during a time when there were no flour mills around, and with his skill of being a master millwright, he was able to create a very successful business that still runs today. And that concludes our video of the people of San Antonio's past. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment section below, and be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.